she is. Plain as day. All right, so we, we grabbed a bit of extra gear this morning because we're gonna, we're gonna try and set up a, a pulley system with a couple of pulley blocks, well, three actually, three pulley blocks, and try and get, get it up high into those, one of those trees there, get a good anchor point, and then get this bike up into the shallows here where we can manhandle it a bit more and get these floats onto it and get it up floating on the top of the water. We got ropes, we got pulleys, we got things going everywhere. There's a massive big high embankment. Simon's up the top and he's running lines through pulleys and stuff like that. I'm down the bottom trying to work out what's happening down this end. There's an end for the quad bike. We've then got to get pulley blocks onto the front of the quad bike, so we had to lift that up. It's just all going on. Is there D-shackles down there? Should be one for each pulley block. Well, there must be one still in the front of the tinny then, hopefully. Behind us is deep, dark water. A crocodile could be just sitting there looking at us the whole time, just waiting, waiting, waiting to come in for the kill. Oh, crap. Come on down. Now. Oh, a little gaping hole in my foot. Nice. Be a bit careful slipping and sliding and falling off the bank. A bit of a slide there and hurt me for a little bit. But uh, heaps of green ants up in the bush. So it, was, it was hard going. They get the little ass up in the air and they try and bury their little heads in. It's like I'm biting you and I mean it. The green ants up on top of that bank are out of control. There was not a stick or a branch or a tree that wasn't covered in green ants. They're just getting eaten alive. First things first, we had to get that quad bike up and get the other end of the rope and pulley onto the front of the quad bike. So Simon's got his head in the water and, and, and I'm sort of on top trying to hold the quad bike up. So I'm using all my strength to hold it up while he's down there hooking stuff on. Jace keeps an eye out for predators as Simon takes the plunge. With limited underwater vision and under the threat of croc attack, Simon works hard and fast to connect the pulley system to the base of the upturned quad bike as Jace takes the weight. <laughs> you got it? Got it? Woo! The pulley blocks are in place. The ropes are in place. Beautiful. The plan is to use three pulleys to significantly reduce the force required to lift the quad out of the river. The tinny will provide that force by accelerating away from the riverbank. So I'm gonna try and help pull it up from the water up onto the shoreline. And Simon's gonna pull, using the outboard, pull on the end of the rope to try and get that pulley system to work and drag that thing out of the water. We're like winching the trucks around, we get all our recovery kits out, with three pulley blocks, and our big long winch extension rope. Oh, that'll help hold the D-shackle out of the way of the prop. And a bit of a harebrained scheme. <clears throat> it's the moment of truth to see whether between that 20 horsepower outboard and my manpower is going to get this thing at least up out of the water where we can handle it. All right. OK, time to get this thing up. Let's see how it goes. Get on the gas on the outboard. I had the outboard fully nailed as hard as it would go. Just revving its guts out. Jace is on the bank, ripping and pulling on the thing. Go, 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 go. We're good, we're good, we're good. With the outboard screaming that way and me hanging off the other end, it's still requiring a lot of effort, a lot of physical effort. And I'm yanking, and I'm yanking, and, and it, but the thing is, it starts moving. Come on! Oh, 
I'm in the tinny, pulling as hard as I can. I can't jump out of the tinny. And poor Jace is in there trying to manhandle this quad bike over. I'm thinking he needs a hand with that, but there's absolutely nothing I can do from here. Well, come on, mate. Put those little muscles of yours to use and turn that thing up right. So I jump in the water then. I'm, I'm not even thinking about crocodiles, nothing. I'm just thinking about getting this quad bike on its wheels and out of the water. Credit, he gets it over on its feet and look out. Now we're in business. This thing's coming up the beach. Go! Hold it there! It's all right, you can take the weight off, see what happens. Yeah, yeah it's not gonna move, it's good. Just start it up and drive it out! Alright! Stop mucking around! The wheels start to touch on dry land, and of course the weight increases. It's got a little bit of flotation from the tyres, and it's not floating real well now, so it's taking all my strength to get it up. <laughs> Gotta get this quad bike out of the water. Yeah, neutral, that's a good idea. Yeah, the pump break too, Jase. Ha! Simon is full noise on that outboard. Give it an all she's done. Come on, baby. Come on. And then half the quad bike comes up out of the water onto the shoreline, and I've just gone, you beauty. It's it's like it's just it's awesome. We're in the middle of nowhere, stuck, you know, quad bike on the bottom of the riverbed, and we now got this thing from three or four metres of water on the bottom to sitting half on the riverbank. We're actually getting this. Hey, Jay! Woohoo! 